Hey guys, Danish Kasamali here, back for another video. And today, I wanna make some beanies. That's right, sublimation beanies. I got an adult one here, a youth one here, and I'm gonna show you all of our beanie styles, the beanie jigs, and we're gonna get busy pressing some of these. So, are you ready? Let's do it. Alright guys, so I went a little crazy in developing these beanies and I ended up developing nine styles of beanies. Yep, that's right, nine styles. So I'm gonna try to make, do my best to not confuse the heck out of you, but bear with me, alright, bear with me. So I'm gonna start with the adult styles. The first one is gonna be our thin adult style. That's this one here. It's, a, it's our thinnest style of beanie and it's got an acrylic white interior. Yep, so that's that acrylic. Feels like cotton, kind of a soft interior here. And if, you, if you're looking for a thin style of beanie for adults, go with that one. All right, next we've got our mid beanie. This, this mid beanie comes in a black interior and it's a polyester spandex blend inside. It's a little bit thicker than that thin one. And we make it in a black interior and a white interior. So it gives you a couple variety options. Uh, I think the black interior is our most popular style of beanie so far. So that gives you a little comparison. Then we make what's called the, the mid V2 black interior. So a lot of our customers were like, hey, they're a little bit too long. Can you make a shorter one? So you guys knowing me, getting down for my silky customers, I was like, sure, we can make a shorter one. So you can see that's the difference right here. This is the shorter one and this is the longer one or this is the original, and then we call this the shorter, or the V2. So this one comes in a black interior style, mid. All right, then moving on to our thick style. We've got our thick style, which is our thickest style of beanie. It has this light brown, beige kind of interior, very fuzzy, very soft and nice. And it's gonna be our thickest style. It comes in the original, longer length, and the shorter length for adults. Whew. All right, so that's one, two, three, four, and five styles. Next, we're going to our youth styles. We've got a youth large and a youth small. The youth large comes in two styles. One of them is the thick, and one of them is the mid, the mid with the black interior. So depending on where you're at, if you're in the, the east coast, in the north, Canada, where it gets really cold, you're probably gonna to wanna to go with some of this. You know, Chicago, wherever you're snowed out, you're gonna definitely want this. If you're trying to just chill, you're gonna want the mid, you know? California cold, maybe Texas cold, mid. All right, and then the last one is the youth small, which also comes in the same styles as the youth large. We've got the thick, and we've got the, the mid. Whew! So, that's all nine styles. Now I'm gonna explain the jigs. All right guys, and then this is the jig that we've developed for these beanies. As you can see, it's like a cone shape, just like the beanies shaped. And for the adult one, you're gonna wanna use it just like that. You're gonna load the jig straight on like this. Boom. And then you're gonna press one side. Then you can flip it, do the roll trick, and press the other side, all right? Then if you're, using, if you're using the shorter beanies, basically you're gonna do the same thing. It's just gonna load, it's just gonna load and leave a little more room down below. Now here's the thing. This jig is 10 inches wide. So if you wanna use for the same jig for the youth large, I recommend you trim a half an inch off of this. So I only sell this in one size but I recommend you trim this down to nine and a half if you're gonna use the youth large. And then when you're gonna do the youth small, trim this down to nine inches. So you should have a different dedicated jig. Maybe you can buy three of these. You can, we sell the jigs. You can buy three different jigs and keep one dedicated for adult sizes, keep one dedicated for the youth large, and then keep one dedicated for the youth small. 
and you'll basically have a, a jig for, for all three sizes that way. Okay, and the last point before I go to production on these guys is if you're gonna do the thick one, I recommend having two jigs and doubling up because the thick one is pretty thick there. So to eliminate that line on the sides, you're gonna wanna double jig. So here's the thing. This is the mid one, a single jig, totally fine, not too thick, and you can eliminate the line. But when I do this mid one, I'm literally, I mean, when I do this thick one, I'm literally gonna get two jigs and I'm gonna double jig that guy, bam. And then now that's where I'll press the first side, flip and roll, no switch on this, just flip and roll, and then press the second side. All right, and that should do it for you. Here's another trick you can do. Uh, let's say you're, you're about to press this first side, but, and then when you go to the, 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 roll, the second side, you roll it, it kind of retracts and goes back. That's a common problem that may happen. So what you want to do is what's called pre-roll. You kind of pre-roll the back to the front a little bit. Now you press this side. Then when you flip it over, it kind of rolls back easier and you do that second side. Boom. So that'll help you eliminate the line on the sides. Just like we do with the socks, guys. We want no line and to make this almost seamless beanie. So those are my tricks for you on these guys. Now. Let's go over to our heat press and get to sublimating. All right guys, so first thing I'm gonna do, again, is load the beanie onto this jig here. This is the mid thickness with the black interior. Then I'm gonna give it that slight pre-roll that I talked about. And let's go ahead and look at my transfer sheets here. I've got this purple flower kind of pattern here, so we're gonna go ahead and dazzle this guy up. Are you ready? Let's do it. Another thing is uh, you can give this a pre-press if you'd like to flatten it up a little. I'm gonna go ahead and skip that and just go straight to press. I'm gonna set it set at 35 seconds. I wanna do a nice high pressure. So let me tighten up my pressure a little bit. And 400 degrees and let's go with it. Yeah, so that's a nice heavy pressure. I'm using the Heat Press Nation 16 by 24 Signature Series. Great press for socks, boxers, beanies, all that good stuff. So, we'll wait it out here, the 35 seconds, and see how it comes out. 35 seconds are up, let's see how it came out. Ooh, oh yeah, that is nice, that is nice. Got all the color here. That little white area is part of the design, a little smoke. Woo, beautiful. And look at the transfer sheet here. It gives me a nice cone shape, just like the beanie. Go ahead and drop that. And then we'll do our flip and roll. It's a little hot, gotta give it a second here. Hope you guys are ready to kill it this holiday season. This winter season coming up with the beanies. Oh yeah, our first winter season having beanies on hand for Silky Socks, so this is super exciting. I remember when we first came out with this product, in our Facebook group, these sold out right away and I had been, I got so excited and ordered like 20,000 more beanies. Uh, and now we've been sitting on them a little bit, but I'm just waiting for that winter to kick in so y'all can start copping. Yeah, speaking of our Facebook group, Sublimation with Silky Socks, make sure you join. Awesome community with everyone engaging and the first to know about sales and new drops and stuff like that. So definitely join that Facebook group. But here I go here with my roll technique. Just want to get it a little bit uh, facing up to you here. I call it facing north to eliminate that line. Okay, and we're ready for our second side here. Same thing. Notice I haven't used any tape or any kind of glue or spray. If you were doing just a small logo by itself and you wanted to spray to kind of keep it in place, or if you feel more comfortable with heat tape, that's up to you. But at Silky Socks, we've always skipped that step. And we go with it. Even for our socks, we don't use spray or tape uh, for the majority of our presses. So, let's get it. Another trick is if you're doing an all-over sublimation, I've actually found that you get, 
you mess up less. Like it's easier to make a mistake or stain something or mess something up when you have like a small logo with a white background. But for an all over print like the one we're doing here, I've always found that the damage rate is much less. It's just something to think about. Don't be afraid of those all over print socks and beanies and stuff. So, here we go. Oh, and that guy got stuck up there on my press. That came down. What goes up must come down. Woo! The reveal, baby. Love it. Love it. There's the transfer sheet. Dang, that's nice. Alright, so let's see if we eliminated the line. Yes, we did. We eliminated the line on the side. See that, guys? Woo! That is nice. So, whenever you're ready, you can give it like 15, 30 seconds to kind of cool down and then you can just take it right off the jig and throw it on your head. Ha! I'm going to give it a second before I do that because I don't want to burn this beautiful forehead and this nice hair. You see me? I'm working out here. <laughs> Get it. Alright guys, let's see how it is on my head. And there you have it. Final look. How do I look, guys? Here's the sides. The top, you can see eliminated the line. The side here, the back. Let's get it, baby. And this is our shorter style, so if you wanted a couple more inches here on length, then you get the original style. All right, guys, next I want to make the youth beanie, the youth small. So I'm going to go ahead and measure this. This is at 10. I'm gonna cut that down to nine. So that's my cut line right there. I will simply cut these with some scissors. All right, and you guys are the expert crafters at home. You could probably cut way better than me. This is just my rushed version for the YouTube. Uh, sanded it down on the table just to give it a smooth edge. You might want to use sandpaper and just cut that an even nice one inch. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and, and load this small beanie here. As you can see, the shape if you think this is still too wide, all you got to do is cut another half inch or so. So now I've got two jigs loaded here, double jig. I'm going to go ahead and pre-roll it slightly. And then we're going to press this side, flip and roll and press the other side. Let's get it. All right, here's my Red Roses transfer sheet here. I'm going to go ahead and lay this over the, the beanie like so and press. Now, since this beanie's a little thicker, I could have loosened the pressure a little bit, but I just kept it where it's at. But keep in mind, uh, if you have a thicker item, you could adjust the pressure. When you have a thin item, you can adjust the pressure uh, accordingly, all right? And the pressure setting is just this knob right here. You, you left, left will make it looser, right will make it tighter. Some heat presses have it up here. Depending on your press, you kind of just adjust, uh, adjust that manually for the most, most of the time. All right, let's see it. Ooh. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm gonna take this home to my daughter and try to get her to try it on after this. So I think she's gonna like that red roses look. What do you guys think? Hopefully she's gonna like that. All right, then I just go ahead and flip and roll when I'm ready. Still a little hot, so I'm gonna give it a second, and then I'll be placing the second sh sheet on the same thing. So you can see, because this is a thicker beanie, I have a little bit harder time eliminating the line, but that's why we're using the two jigs to give us some extra thickness. So I'm gonna see how that looks. I've got it facing me a little bit, and I'm gonna go ahead and go with that. We'll see how it comes out. In sublimation, nothing is perfect, but Silky tries to make it as perfectly imperfect. 
or what was, should I say, perfect imperfections, something like that. But yeah, you know, sometimes us sublimators, we want to go for perfection in a tiny little line or something. We, we get upset about, but hey, just keep going and keep putting out that product and keep improving as you go. And sometimes we are our biggest critics. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with it and see how it comes out. Beautiful, beautiful. Hot. Okay, okay. I do see a little line right there. I did a good job up here, pretty good job up here. And I do got a little line right there. But that's also due to the transfer sheet was a little smaller than I would like. If with a little more bleed on the transfer, I think I could have gotten that. But hey, we're going with it, baby. We're going with it. This is. This is live and silky, baby. No retakes, no redos. Let's go with it. So here is the, the youth beanie, youth small. You can see with that fuzzy brown interior, the thick style. So I'm gonna go ahead and find me a little model to try this guy on. Let's go. Okay, Leo, this is the beanie I need you. And I'd like you to try it on for our YouTube channel. Is that okay? Yeah? So it's got red roses on it, and it's black in the hair, and mainly red. So you're going to put that on? What about your pony? I guess we'll just put it over here. Yeah. Turn it up here? Yes. Uh, uh. <laughs> there you go. Let's show the camera. Nice! <laughs> Oh, there you go, give me a little spin, give me a little spin. You like it? Is it comfortable? Yes! Yay! And how old are you? Three! You're three now? Wow! You've been watching me grow up. You're three and a half, right? Yes! You got a baby sister on the way? Yeah! In here! In there? Okay! Yeah. Perfect! So guys, the size small is listed as two to five year olds for the youth small. You just saw Mrs. Aaliyah try that on. And we have a youth large that list, that's listed for six to 10 year olds. And that's about it. Me and my little buddy here will continue our fun morning here at home. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because we're coming out with awesome celebration content and fun stuff like this all the time. All right, let's say bye. Say thank you for watching. <laughs> All right, we're out of here, guys. Thank you. Peace. Let's get it, guys! Let's get it! This is the part where you can forward it. Right. Sometimes I just entertain, but <laughs> just try to chill. Blooper roll? Dang, that's nice. I'm dying out here in this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. 400 degrees, I'm dying out here. Just kidding. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs>